In this video, you'll get to join me to the sacred city of Caral in Peru, where the oldest civilization of the Americas used to live 5,000 years ago. So, this journey starts in Lima together with my boyfriend Rul and our Peruvian friend Javier. We decided to first drive to a beach town called Ancong, located about 50 kilometers away from Lima, and spend the night there as Javier's parents live here. As you can hear, we are staying right by the beach. You can hear the waves, which is lovely. Today we are going to a place called Caral. And Caral is supposedly the oldest city in all of Peru. So yeah, I'm excited about today and I hope you guys will enjoy joining along. Currently the car is getting disinfected because yeah. we're gonna drive past a chicken farm. Yeah. Super random. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I've never uh, had anything like this before. The road to get to Caral was definitely not the easiest. The last bit of it was basically just a dirt road crossing through the desert. It was also not really clearly marked on which way to go sometimes. of a bumpy road. <laughs> We have arrived to Caral and this place is truly in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert. Well, now another car arrived, but other than that, we're the only people here. It seems a little bit ghost towny, to be honest. But yeah, the entrance looks like this. Look, it says welcome even in Finnish here. Tervetuloa. Does it say in Swedish? Mm. Oh yeah, velkommen. And it also said in Dutch. Welcome. Here we have the ticket counter, but there's <laughs> there's no one working here. But it seems like you can just walk in. But it truly seems a bit ghost towny. According to Google, it is supposed to be open every day of the year, even on like public holidays and stuff. Yeah, it seems almost a little bit creepy because there's literally no one here. And this is supposed to be like a pretty famous place to visit, you know, oldest city of Peru. Not sure where, where the action is. So weird. I thought this would be like a super touristic place with a bunch of tour buses and stuff, but no. <laughs> Ah, seems like over here is the actual ticket office and even a little souvenir shop and what seems to be maybe restaurants but not sure if they are open. So the entrance cost was 11 soles and then we also paid 20 soles extra to get a tour guide but that 20 soles was like shared now between five people, so not too bad. The civilization from Caral is really really old, 3000 years before Christus to be exact. And as a reference, you can see the Machu Picchu and like the Inca time much, much, much later, only like 500 years ago. So this civilization is way older. Then it was time for our tour. The guys here seem to only speak Spanish though, so that's something to keep in mind. Luckily, I was able to understand bits and pieces with my broken Spanish and also our Peruvian friend was there to help us translate things that we didn't understand. The tour lasted for about one hour. So when I say that this place is old, I mean truly old. These ruins of the former Caral Supe city are more than 5,000 years old. Also, the Caral civilization that used to live here is thought to be the 
oldest civilization on the continent and this city used to be their main one. It is believed that the Karal civilization disappeared about 1800 years BC. But what's a bit mysterious about this place is that no bodies or burial sites have actually ever been found. So it seems like this place was abandoned at some point, but no one knows why. Although Karal is such an old city, it wasn't actually discovered until much much later. However, I'm a bit confused when exactly on our tour we were told it was in 1994, but online it says 1948. But the reason to why such a big place was discovered so late is well, because this place is quite in the middle of nowhere and it also used to be completely covered by sand. Over here it looks like if you would do a little bit more digging you could find some more buildings and stuff. There's clearly more things underneath all that sand. Oh, how I wish so badly that you could just travel back in time just for like five seconds. If we could now travel back 5,000 years and just see a glimpse of what it actually looked like because like there's all these theories and stuff but we don't know anything for sure of course. It would be so so interesting just just to see a glimpse of what it actually like what what did this place look like? What did the people look like? What What were they doing you know? Today this site has been declared to be a UNESCO site, but surprisingly the tourism doesn't seem to be exactly blooming here. I guess they still have to work on the tourism infrastructure for this place. It's been a very interesting visit indeed. It is a bit ghost towny though. I feel like you could do a little bit more with this place. For example, here you have all these like little stalls where you could have like a little souvenir shop or something, but there's only one. <laughs> one that's actually in use. Also I would be craving a cold drink but they only sold drinks warm so yeah like small little tweaks. I understand we're in the middle of nowhere. Stopped at a gas station. Finally, a cold Coca-Cola. Yes. Got myself also this ice cream. I tried this yesterday and it was so, so good. Mm. So good with white chocolate and strawberry ice cream. We've now done a bit of an extempore stop on the way back to Lima at a place called the Truly Eco Park. And honestly, I have no idea what there is here. Some weird looking houses at least. I guess we'll find out. Honestly, even during our visit, I wasn't quite sure what this place is, but I did some research and it seems to be a community of people who live in this unique place practicing Hinduism. They also offer things like tours, retreats, yoga lessons, and it is also possible to do some volunteer work. It definitely felt like we weren't in Peru when walking around this place.
We are now back in Lima and we had a very nice day. Would I recommend visiting? Mm, yes, if you are interested in these kind of archaeological sites and stuff, but do bear in mind getting there from Lima is quite the trip. It takes more than three hours to drive and like the last half an hour of the drive it goes through a really uh, bumpy road as well, so you do need like a relatively good car for that i guess i'm not sure if there are any tours organized to caral at least when we were there it didn't seem like it maybe i don't know i do think that is something that's a bit of a market gap i'm sure a lot of people would be interested in in visiting caral if it would be more accessible and and i feel like if there would be more people visiting there then there could be more shops and they could have drinks and coolers and like then they would have the money to make it even better i hope you enjoy it nevertheless if you did please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye